Hi everyone, Dr. Caitlin Butler Birmingham, naturopathic sports medicine doctor, today talking about cell phone posture. So this applies to cell phones, tablets, computers, you name it. All of us stand there like this. I know you've been in line somewhere waiting, cashier, just to cash out, and you're there scrolling through, looking at your phone. But here's the thing, as soon as your head is dangling, it's literally dangling there. Your neck is like the tiniest little crane and then your, your head is this huge weight that it has to hold on to. So because we do this all day, most days, we need to find ways to mitigate that posture because essentially what we're doing is the longer you stay with your head down like that, the more likely it is that you are actually going to start seeing changes in how your bone structure, how your muscles function. Um, so what we want to do is change how your head position is. So how you can do that is three things, three major exercises that I always recommend to people is one, the chin tuck. So what that is, is instead of having your head out like this, what you're trying to do is bring your head straight back so that it's now stacked so that your ears are in line with your shoulders. Now, this only works if you first fix your shoulder position, because most of us are sitting at computers like this. You wanna fix your shoulder position, look straight ahead, pull the head back, and stack it. Now, you don't have to hold this long. This is like a one-two count, and it is important that you try to pull your head straight back, so you don't want any angles either up or down. You just want it straight forward, pulling it back in, trying to make a double chin. Now the frequency on this is honestly 30 times a day. How do you fit that in? Anytime you sit down at your computer, you get up from your computer, or if you change rooms, aim to get it in. The second one is the pec stretch. So the pec stretch, what you wanna do is because the pec inserts here and is all along your um, clavicle as well as your sternum, this whole sweeping muscle, you wanna open that up so that Instead of being like this, when you're on your computer, everything is opened up, which will allow your shoulders to be back and down. Now, the way to do that is to find a wall or a corner of a wall, be in a lunge position, and move so that you're pushing your shoulder essentially away from your chest. So if you're like the walls here, you wanna try to open that space up. And again, that opens up the chest, which allows your shoulders to be back and down. The third exercise is the row. So you can do this with equipment or without. Um, TheraBands are very popular for this. And essentially what you're gonna do is arms out in front, pull in and squeeze your shoulder blades together. So your shoulders are back and down, arms are out front, and then you wanna pull in, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And just hold one, two count. Now you can treat this like the chin tuck, do it 30 times, just one-offs or you can group them together three sets of ten throughout the day um, as far as the pec stretch goes always hold a stretch 45 seconds when it's for therapeutic use make sure you do it on both sides and that's kind of what will help you open up the chest strengthen the back and also pull your head back so that it's not hanging over the neck Alrighty, guys three things that you need to do to make sure that to mitigate the cell phone posture and i hope that helps